Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2016, set to 1, question 45. Okay, so the question is, what will the output of the C program? So basically, they are asking, what is the output of this question? Okay, yes. So here we are having the main. So it is a nothing, but here you are calling a count of 3. So instead of writing the count, I will be writing C guys. Got it? Yes. Okay, so let us start. So here we are having a static variable D. Okay, so it is a static type. Remember, so static always has a special character, right? So its value is something like global variable and it is initialized only once. So that's the logic which I remember for is, right? Yes. So let us start. Okay, so what will be the output of the code? Okay, so we started. So we initialize the value of D equal to 1. Okay, so then what we are doing? We are printing the value of N. So basically N value is equal to 3 guys in this case. Okay, so now you will be printing the value 3. Okay, so if you want me to write the steps numbers, I'll be writing it. Okay, this will be the third step and this will be the fourth step. Four steps are in total. Okay, yes. So again, you will print the value of D that is nothing but 1. Then you will increment the value of D that is nothing but 2. Now you are checking whether N is greater than 1. So is 3 greater than 1 guys? Yes. So what you are doing? You are calling a count N minus 1. So count of 2 you will be calling means. Okay, yes. Okay, so let us continue. Okay, count of N minus 1. You are calling N equal to 2 okay yes so again you are printing the value of d so let us write it in this way because it is a static variable i'm 100 percent confused with this value okay yes so let us write in that way so let us again we, here also you will have four steps so the first step is printing the value of n so what is the value of n in this case it is a 2 okay so what is the value of d it is also 2 so what will be the result if you do d plus plus it will be 3 what is the condition here so if n is greater than 2 so is a 2 greater than 1 yes so again you are calling this function with 1 got it yes so again you are printing the value of d got it yes so again continuing we are having again four steps so the first step is print the value of n so what is the value of n it is nothing but 1 again you are printing the value of d so what is the value of d that is a 3 again you are incrementing d the value is a 4 again you are checking if 1 is greater than 1 Okay, so is 1 greater than 1 guys? Is it true? My answer will be no. So is 1 greater than 2? Sorry, is 1 greater than 1? No, right? Yes. So this condition will not execute. So basically you will not get one more call. Again, you are printing the value of t. Okay, so now what is the value of d guys? So now we are done with this loops, right? So now we are done with this, 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 done with this. So what is the value of d? It is a 4. So it will print a 4. Okay, so this is done. This is done. So now what will be the value of D? It is also 4. Now this is done. So now what will be the value of D? That is 4. So now this is done. So hence this will also be done. So hence you completed all the functions and let us now write the output in the in order or pre order or post order. Any order you can follow. So the first you will get a 3. After that 1. After that 2. After that 2. After that 1. After that 3. After that 4. 4. 4. So this is the result. So is anyone matching us? So with this last force, I will be concluding A is the correct answer. Got it? Yes. So you can just cross check the rest values also. Yes, they are matching exactly. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about this question, right? So how we are exactly solving. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.